Hi everyone, it's Eric from ecartman12.blogspot.com and welcome to my unboxing and product tour of the Sony Xperia T mobile phone. Now, a huge thank you must go over to Vodafone.co.uk for sending me this handset over to review. You can pick this handset up from their website free on contract plans from £33 a month. Now let's take a look at the box, and uh, one thing I'd like to say first is that this mobile phone is meant to be in the new James Bond movie, Skyfall, which is meant to air in cinemas uh, this month. This is the phone where James Bond will be using in uh, that particular movie, and that's just one of the things that Sony are doing to sort of uh, advertise this phone and sort of uh, back it up. And as you can see over here, it says Xperia T, and a little Android logo over there, Sony Make Believe. And you can visit, uh, it says sonymobile.com, uh, to redeem your free music. Now, Xperia T, this uh, box is slightly uh, slightly different to uh, other uh, mobile phones that Sony used to come out with. And th this says, as you can see, it says Xperia T, and uh, Sony have sort of taken the Ericsson name away from their branding. Now let's take a quick look at the box. Uh, pretty much plain on these sides over here. A little stick I'm going to peel off in order to get to the phone. And so Sony Xperia T on this side. On the back is quite interesting. It's, it says over here it's using the Bravia engine. For those of you that don't know, Sony actually do have their own uh, HD TVs, obviously. And um, uh, they've got something that they call their Sony Bravia series of televisions. And uh, this is using the Bravia engine in this in this 720p screen. So it's going to make the pictures look just as crisp, just as sharp. And if they're using a an engine that they use in their HD TVs that is only going to make the 720p display look even better on this mobile phone. It's PlayStation certified as well, which is uh, very good to see, and that's quite nice on the box over there. Now let us just let's just peel this off right over here, and let us take the top part of the box off. And here is the handset itself, uh, very nicely presented. I'm just going to pop this to one side, and let's see what else we get inside the box. Now, this has been out with other reviewers, but it still looks like it's very, uh, very nicely presented. So let's see what you get. You get 40% discount off this multifunctional Bluetooth audio headset, which is very nice that they include. It's also got 40% uh, discount on... Uh, looks like the same uh, headset on here, but they're giving you 40% off, which is quite nice. Okay, Sony Startup Guide. This is going to guide you through on getting the handset up and running. And this is some SAR information, and this is some important information as well. Okay, and now, over here is the screen protector. Now, very, very nice that Sony actually include these. It's always nice when the company goes the extra step to supply you with a screen protector and carry case with the mobile phone. Great that Sony supply these, so might apply that on the video later on. Now, over here is... Looks like Sony's earphones. Let's actually open these up. If I can manage. Yep, there you go. Let's take that out. And this is what you get with these earphones. So, wow, actually, it looks very nice. Now, like, they come with different size silicon tips and looks like a little clip over here they give you. And these are the earphones. Now, these do look very nice quality. It looks like a uh, a little bit of metal construction, as you can see over there. The plastic, a uh, bit of pl rubberized plastic over here, silicon ear tips over here, and uh, that's accompanied with a three sort of uh, L shaped 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And the earphones themselves really do look like very nice quality, not what you normally get with many uh, mobile phones. But it looks like uh, something I always find interesting with these Sony mobile phones that they always come with different sized or different sort of present, uh, presented styles of earphones. Okay, let's put that to the side. Over here is mini, uh, full size USB and micro USB on one side. I love the fact they're using uh, micro USB, it makes things a whole lot cheaper. And the last thing we get inside the box is the UK plug. Now, Let's see, this is how you're supposed to pull it up, just, there you go, pull it up and that makes it a 3-pin UK plug, you connect the full-size USB on this end of the charger, then use micro USB to charge the device, and then you can close this up to keep it nice and portable and easy for you to take out on the go. So that's everything we get inside the box, and really quite nice, that's only give you quite a lot of extras in this box as well. Okay, so... Let us take a closer look at the Sony Xperia T mobile phone. Wow, that looks 
absolutely amazing. The front, I really love the way it is all black on the front. It just looks very nice and very sort of... It's got this sort of uh, cinematic sort of look on the, sc uh, bef on the screen before you even power it on. It's got that sort of uh, feeling that this is going to be a uh, cinematic mobile phone for when you use it to watch back your media and photos, etc. So let's give you a quick product tour of the Sony Xperia T. Now on the front you have got the Sony logo, 1.3 megapixel camera and a couple of sensors over there. Here is the screen which is a 4.6 inches and running at a resolution of 1280 by 720 so that is a really nice looking screen. And it has also got over here a microphone for outgoing call quality. Over here you have also got a dedicated camera button and a volume rocker and the power on-off button which also doubles up as the sleep-wake button. Over here you have a flap which is where the, the SIM card is housed. On the top here you've got a 3.5mm headphone jack and a second microphone which is presumably used for noise cancellation. On this side you've got your micro USB connector and that is it. This and that is it on the side profiles. The phone is very sleek and quite minimal when it comes to buttons. And on the back, you've got a very nice textured feel back. It's uh, as far as I know, you can't remove it. So the battery in here is uh, staying in here. You're not going to get any other sort of extended battery out of this, which is quite a shame. Which is a shame, but it looks like it's uh, uh, going to be quite a decent battery inside here, as the battery is 1850 million powers. Plus, so I'll give you feedback in the full review as to how long that is actually working for me. And over here, you've got the flash. And and a 13 megapixel camera. So that is absolutely amazing that, we'll, uh, with th that you get a 13 megapixel camera. It's also capable of capturing 1080p HD video. I'm really looking forward to actually testing out this camera. Now, let's turn the screen on. As you can see, I've already got fingerprints on the screen. And let's unlock the phone. And here it is. As you can see, I've already been sort of customizing it just a little bit, just to sort of get the phone up and running and stuff, so I can give you a quick look at it. Now, as you can see, as I'm swiping between screens, it is very, very smooth. Hardly any lag whatsoever. And let's take a look at some of the preloaded apps. You got some stuff here like App Select Help Login. This is this is this mobile phone is from Vodafone, so it's got some Vodafone built-in apps in here. You also got a demo of Plants vs Zombies. You got an Amazon app built-in, YouTube app, Play Books, Notes, Xperia Link, Office Suite, Let's Start, PlayStation. Uh, is that a manager? I think so. Oops. <laughs> you also got Movie Studio. Google Plus, Google Search, Foursquare, EA Games, Messenger, FM Radio, and plenty of other built-in applications right here. So, let us go back to the home screen. And this uh, overlay you've got, you can see right here, is Sony's own overlay. Much like HTC have their overlay, uh, Sony have their own overlay as well, which is called Timescape. So... It is a different kind of overlay, but you know, something you can sort of get used to yourself. You can pinch, so you get stuff like this, you can pinch out, and then whichever widget you want to see, you just tap on it, and it'll take you to that specific screen with that specific widget. And this has also got a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor in here, so it's not uh, gonna be like the quad core f uh, phones, but a dual core processor, especially running at 1.5 gigahertz, is a very uh, reasonable spec phone. So, the screen, as I said, on this is very nice, using uh, Sony's Bravia engine that you get in their HD TVs. And since it's a 720p screen, that Bravia engine uh, that you get on the screen is really the icing on the cake. Now, as you can see, you've also got some touch-sensitive buttons at the bottom here. They're actually on the screen. They're not located on the phone. They're literally, literally on the screen. So you've got one for a back button, home button, and a multitasking button. And this also gives you an, an example of Sony's uh, Timescape uh, overlay. So you can swipe the apps off, but it is uh, sort of presented to you differently as to how stock Android would be presented. So, that is the screen, and it looks very, very nice at this current stage. Really, I do love the screen. The screen really has got to be seen to be believed. Look at how crisp the display really is. One of the best-looking displays I have seen on a mobile phone. And this is one of my first sort of Sony Xperia handsets I've had bought into review, so this would be a really uh, good sort of uh, test for me to do. Really excited to test this, put it through its paces, and also bring you a full review and give you my th overall thoughts on a Sony Android-based smartphone. This phone is expected to get Android Jelly Bean soon, so don't have to worry too. So you don't have to worry even about it, even though it's running at Android version four so far. So very soon it will get the Jelly Bean update. So 
Thank you guys very much for watching. Please follow me on Twitter by following at ecartman12, where I'll be where I will be posting some updates as to how what I think of this mobile phone. If you don't want to follow me on Twitter, I'll be giving you the, all those uh, updates and stuff and letting you know what I think of the mobile phone in my full review of the handset, which will be up in about two weeks' time. Thank you very much for watching. This has been Eric from ecartman12.blogspot.com, and I'll see all of you in the next video.